Hey, yo, I'm not gonna lie, y'all need to stop disrespecting Itachi, yo. All for all you bitch ass niggas over disrespecting Itachi, suck my. D you know what? I, I apologize. That was very childish and ignorant of me. You know, I, my manners, they just, they just got away from me for a second. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. How have you been? You know, like the video or, or like the video. And yeah, let's, let's talk about this Tatachi disrespect, you know, because I am not going to sit here and let some random nigga who watched the show with his eyes closed tell me that Itachi was not a goaded character. Tell me that Itachi didn't do the right thing. Tell me that Itachi is just some, oh, he killed women and children. He's so selfish. Oh my God. He's such an asshole. Oh my Jesus. Now this is just a common, a common misconception or whatever you want to call it. But honestly, I think I think this is something people really don't know. I don't think people really pay attention to the Uchiha massacre like like they should, you know? Like if you were to ever tell someone about the Uchiha massacre or talk to them about it, they would just say, Oh yeah, or Itachi killed his whole family and shit. And it's just like I mean that's what that's what the main thing, but like there's so many little intricacies that go into it that people just forget about. Like we're at the point where people forget the fact that they were treating the Uchiha like shit. Like the or not they I mean yeah, they. The elders, Donzo and and Hiruzen were treating the Uchiha's like shit, like second class people. And it was just like y'all bogus as hell. But people forget the fact of how many people were gonna die and how many people were in or into this this plot deep like people forget that Shisui was in it pretty deep in the background type shit Itachi was in it deep Sasuke was going to be a fucked up coming out of this situation either way like Fugaku was going to capture Naruto and you know do all this shit. he could Fugaku was really going to fuck the leaf up for real like I don't think people realize that Fugaku was going to tear that ass up bad and of course the, the main nigga that people forget about is, is obito because here's here's a beef i have with with you niggas that say oh itachi's so bad he killed all these people and he's just so bad the issue i got with y'all niggas is that y'all y'all did not read the novels y'all didn't even look at it look at an overview of the novels because it's clearly said in the novels the what the itachi light and darkness novel i don't remember what they're called they got some cool ass name though but it's clearly said in the novels that Obito took out the women and children, the non-shinobi. And Itachi is the one who killed the Merc the Le uh Uchiha police force, uh those three niggas that pulled up to his house, uh claiming he killed Shisui. He he did they ass and he murked the fuck out of them. And then he killed his parents. He did not kill the children. He did not kill the the non shinobi women he killed those he killed his family he killed the Uchiha police force and then he killed izumi technically but back back to the main point of the massacre the how how it started in the first or not how it started how it should have finished in the first place everyone that talks about the massacre just thinks they're just an a-class fucking genius who can solve world hunger today like like they just think i don't know I, a, a main thing about the massacre that i really fucking hate people talking about is that people think that oh like they just they forget that itachi is 13 years old at the time they forget itachi is 13 years old and like the day before the massacre she said we killed himself if you were 13 years old and your best friend killed herself and then the next day your family and your fucking state we're gonna go to war would you make the right decision or would you just be like okay i i, I just i don't know I'm, I'm making a decision now boom and then that's it he can't take it back he made the decision already and if you ask me itachi made the best decision he could possibly make at that time on such short notice with all these different factors because donzo took shisui's fucking eye so that that screwed up like 80 percent of the plan any fucking way so no matter what, after Donzo took Shisui's eye, like, niggas were going to die regardless. There was no way to get out of this without f either Fugaku dying or Hiruzen or Donzo or whatever. Someone had to die at, after Donzo took Shisui's eye. Because it's like, it, niggas not going out like that. 
and you telling me if if Shisui went back to the Uchiha district and Fugaku seen that nigga with one eye, you think Fugaku gonna be like, oh shit, don't they really strong like that? Let's let's not attack them. No, Fugaku gonna pull up in that fucking in that village. He gonna be over there slicing necks, nigga. Ain't no ain't no Minato around, so Minato can't stop him. He gonna be slicing necks. It's gonna be him versus Hiruzen. And who you think gonna win? Old man Hiruzen or fucking Fugaku, who was on par with Minato? Like, let's be real here. Fugaku's gonna fuck that ass up. But on an honest note, I think I think Itachi did the right thing. I think he did as good as a thing as he could have done at a, as a thirteen year old boy trying to protect his little brother in his fucking home because if okay let's let's go through the two different scenarios right let's say let's say itachi um he chose the leaf right if itachi chose the leaf over the clan which he did the the uchiha clan were, was gonna die whether it be b by the leaf or by him he killed he killed the uchiha clan right him and obito he left sasuke there he made a deal with donzo and obito to not touch sasuke and not touch the leaf so therefore he left he did the most selfless thing he could have done he left a life for his brother to live because he had to leave somewhere for sasuke to go he couldn't take sasuke with him in the akatsuki or as a rogue that'd be dangerous as shit granted however strong itachi is they could just use sasuke as leverage against him in any fight if he had to bring sasuke with him and couldn't keep him in the village now for the other standpoint if itachi chose his clan there would be a full-on full-out war like on some moderate shit like it'd just be hella uchiha running around murking everybody everybody it'll be the uchiha clan versus you know guy hayate kakashi heroes and donzo you know all them niggas and it'd be like i'm gonna be real the uchiha clan might might smack their ass it might really just be the uchiha clan it might just be shisui itachi fugaku versus and maybe obito versus Hiruzen, Kakashi, Guy, and I don't know because Jiraiya or none of them wasn't there yet. So like the the Leaf would probably be fucked for a yeah three Mangekyo users. Like the Leaf is it might be done so. And granted, with that, some Uchiha are gonna die. And all the Uchiha are not gonna survive. So with that being said, instead of just one party dying, the Leaf is gonna be destroyed. Most of the Leaf should know you're gonna fucking die except maybe the strongest ones a lot of the uchi are gonna die because a lot of them aren't the same level as you itachi fugaku shisui all them so people on both sides are gonna die and then there's gonna be nowhere for them to go back to so you're telling me what five six year old sasuke is just supposed to sit there and be on the run with his family like that's dangerous as fuck he's literally looking and they would be hunted because they wouldn't have a village to stay in. So they would be hunted like shit by the rest of the villages. And then the rest of the villages would jump in on Konoha. So essentially, if Itachi didn't do that, everybody in Konoha would be fucked. He would be the response, the reason why everybody in Konoha is dead and fucked over. And there's nothing left for Konoha to go back to. So essentially, he just said, okay, do I sacrifice a little or do I sacrifice a lot? That That's literally all he did. Y'all talking about all this. I would never do my family like that. I would never do my family like that. He's so dirty. He did his shit for a, a bum ass village. Well, when you think about it, he did do it for his family because he had to protect his little brother. And you know what his dad said? As soon as he came to, to kill them, he said, take care of Sasuke because Itachi already knew the message. Take care of your little fucking brother, dude. Like, fuck the rest of us. You made your decision. You and your brother go survive. Go live, nigga. Go, go be some dogs. Like don't don't give a fuck about the rest of this shit i get it like we got different ideologies and shit but take care of your little brother make sure he gets a good life because the rest of us are already fucked over it's that simple niggas should not have to spell this out for y'all every fucking year like this is ridiculous anyways y'all like comment subscribe uh turn on notifications and let's get it let's get this grind going